MPP delegate wa wale zukuku constituency wa asansu wa atu abama obi anka fes no ye MPP dedaw. Nesi se ano, yipanu wewi no wini wye inewa wa send some very very important powerful message with dama oye mahama na wa kacha ne dewa. They don't need to even contest again. They don't even need to campaign again. Now it will interest you to know that over a period, the the MPP no wa to oye aba oye wobe yi oye pieces another parliamentary candidate wobe the oye MPP ne nyim. Uh, that more often constituency see. Now why we you to often constituency it's actually a worry for the party. The damn brother yano. Uh, JFK, no any pay for no will we'll make sure there will we'll set up the pace. Then brother, yeah, this particular elections will be taken care of. Ne, actually, other elections will also kind of like flow. Now that more often constituency see, yeah, we there, oh yeah, Bernard Okoboy, Anka first, no, uh, oh yeah, MP for Lizokuku constituency no chede. What sense we to know that baby my sense why you're a PC this time around. Now over a period no see the current MP also do why Lizokuku constituency no why the Greater Car Region no yeah oh yeah Bernard AC. Uh, Benjamin AEC, I perform fan chem. Now, Bernard, uh, Benjamin AEC, there's a lot of one or two issues be at the as of now there. That my MP, NDC MP. Phew. Now, you know, there, there's some uh, comments here and there on social media space, now that, or there. That my MP, OP, NDC, he has lost touch with the people. According to sources, according to comments, now according to people, or can I watch there? They are not even seeing the oil, the NDC MP in oil, the constituency, even being actively doing one or two things. Uh, they voted, the constituency voted for him as an NDC, uh, but didn't do as an MP. But since he, not there, he has lost touch with the people. It's now all my MP before, over a period, uh, even though they, they voted out oil, Dama Bernard Okoboy, ah, you know, him also double as oil CEO for oil national health insurance scheme, you know. There, one sense of what to know that baby just to be able to say one particular thing. Now, the reason why I am voting back, no, why it's very, very crucial to, up to this point. And then, why be more of a topic here because of the fact that speech be a upgive right after the winning elections on the system of all the train. Now, Ebasha, if an, a particular constituency, your offer constituency for all the MPP, you know, check the NDC MP no general, you know, check the MPP does not have any rep over there with regards to all MP ship. In this say, what to what will be a bar or fee or MPP? I will feed the diamond in Pano Botumno while contest NDC. Then I think that it will even help to break the eight, especially to the team there. As at this point, the breaking the eight it comes with a lot of one or two things. One of the very major things are the oil, the breaking the eight mantra, no, the Obotum Wabomino is there. Gibbing your Obia, Obey Unifier. Today, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, in there he's a unifier. I can ask some of your book or can ask some of the button or the car or can ask some of my baby as some you baby and so say too many young MPs and then the any parliamentary candidate we will tell no one so they will be able to do the same thing it I think that what to one of the MPP no we two will break the eight we're breaking so 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 easily at the same time no so when too many when you want to more to the man or the chairman of the party anymore so I think that all is cuckoo in their own opinion the way to way one darling boy now another thing he is also regarded uh Nama Bernard or uh, Okoboy, though they were a MP with the same constituency that are voting out. This time around, what was some one in the baby and do bit in the MP, no contest or uh, NDC or uh, one Benjamin the Yisino. And to moving forward, I think that this will be a very tough battle for all uh, the constituency. Now this speech no yeah, come a crown. Also there, see say anyone, or then they know or the share or uh, MPP. Uh, Kwana wa father we tumwa tono no Bernard oye okoboy na bana also oye oye feel po cry ye ne si se ane wa apa do kase mi nante chobi bi ade he is not going to support nakasana kofuna devoted for him he said no he is actually going to work hard hand in hand was to contend as no yungo yine jine yeno and even their supporters see these are some of the things that we need in MPP these are some of the things that we need because moving forward no we just want people la. Who are selfless, who have the party at heart, who love the party to the core, who are going to show that yes, we will truly love the party. Damn, bro, but yeah, it will be easy for all year 2024 20, elections because take it or leave it 2024 elections. Eh, Dr. Muhammad Bamia is doing his bidding. Dr. Mahmoud Bamia is doing his But since on the floor, no, and other in the constituency, no, in your power, but to where you now, but about to know what our constituency is what we are all looking for. And if there's a cuckoo constituency, so to me, the way or yeah, or yeah, Bernard Okoboy, 
Anka first no oil MP. Ah, see, say no CEO for National Health Insurance Schema. Then I think that they are actually going for Obi Obotun will break the eight. No? So I think they're moving forward. Now this actually should also reflect in other oil elections. Now, you have to get to any speech in your crap. I'm sure they say Muhammad in this speech now. Now, because they're more vocal. Because I can't wait for the waste one by Muhammad warning. No, you end this warning now. Also, there he doesn't even need to even do campaigning, even in the constituency, because in Jumanu, why get why he be? And especially because he has full support from the party, from both the common floor and also one more talk. One more call, make it a speech of Kuboy or the Tuga. 2016, you broke the power drought for the NPP in this constituency. Unfortunately, you lost it in 2020. The people think that there's a need for a new face because this your constituency swings and it goes along with new faces. Do you think this assertion is fair? Well, you know, primaries is, is good. But it's not as important as the main election. If you look at the NDC, the NDC has repeated their candidate for the 2024 election. And so there will be no new faces on the ballot December 7th if you, you elect a cowboy. And that's why they are willing to go with me. For the first time, we are going to have two candidates who have all been former MPs. One will be a current MP, Ben Aiku. Myself. What, what's the different strategy you are putting to, um, ahead? Oh, you don't even need a different strategy. The current MP has gone AWOL. You know what AWOL means? Absence without leave. Ask the community whether they know where he is or they see him. His presence is zero. His impact is zero. And so we don't need any new strategy. Those who tried him have experienced him. They wouldn't go for him the second time. So what's your projection, your margin of win today? I have confidence that my team, the party, would win at the end of the day. My name will be the one that will be mentioned, but the victory will come for all of us. What's the indication to the NDC candidate watching you now? Oh, the, the, the NDC, they've been telling people that I'm their biggest headache. But the, the good news I have for them is that the headache will get worse. <laughs> well, well, so there are some allegations, though not confirmed, but I just want to hear from you. The claims are that you are the darling boy from the top, and then they want you to rather go apart from it. Apart from you, they don't want a different person to go. How true is that? But if you have a very, if you have a shady character, would the top make you their darling boy? If you, you live your life in a very humble manner, if you are well read, you seek knowledge. And if you are hardworking, you don't sit to be asked to join the party before you work. If you go out there, 2024, it was in the say, I Last election, Sebi presidential, Obeshana Mama Afani Kesie. This year, Yabaya Jumadin, Amaya Papa, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, any Dr. Koboy, Omako, into office. Mr. Samu, so now we need Dr. Afa. If you are Dr. Koko, no one knew me. Now, so no one only knew Koko. And we have found Koko has no one yet. You have got power 2024. So say, dear Abanyina, I came. Dr. Koko, we must send a meeting. Me and Shia will cast a wheel on you and you will know. We be a man from a neck. We be a obia or party. Kumudu, enti mesiramu, meka asem kesi ya chiremu. Ipeji fona wa ni na nyani chiremu. Sebi ekomundi wong, yepe tumi edi abuamu. Enti uti peji ni bakwechi na wana wana bebre. Kumudu, onu pa ni yobi ya jumani jana homo yeye moko. Oko ya di esi ake losmo, no fite ni yuko kwa na bwe bato. Ti esiramu, yenye baku. Na se e ba ku anyanku bo be kan ye hu na 2024 te ji fo ni na hu no kware ni se papa no kita ko nya no se bi won ti krom ha kubudu papa no se bi won wada two won ti krom ha three u tie no se koko e go no school krom ni be bi e wo kubudu enti ye enti bi ntina ho e ma mp en da 8 years kubudu when you want to see the MP, why were you here? 
sorry Enye kwada. Nye kupo nshia mungina. Kumudu. 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 Doc, you are live on the Joint News Channel. Um, so Evans, that was uh, Dr. Bernard Okoboy there addressing the uh, party supporters there, Hello. both in Ga and Hello. in Chi. You know, all he's calling for unity and peace for, for the, the, the party. So let me try and get to Dr. Dr. Okoboy. You are live on the Joint News Channel. Um, to find out from him what, what, what this victory means to him. But he has addressed the party supporters here in Lejokuku. So, um, Evans, um, there were four contenders. All of them have actually considered defeat to Dr. Okoboy, and they are preaching unity um, for the, the MPP ahead of the 2024 general election. They say this is the time for them to marshal their efforts together in ensuring they win it. So, Doc, you are live on the Join News channel. What do you have to tell your listeners. Let's, let's Let me step down. Who are you? So, uh, Evans, Dr. Okoboy is a winner. He has been declared a winner of this election. Dr. Okoboy, how do you feel about this victory? Well, I mean, um, un, unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, I'm very um, happy. I appreciate the support of my people and in the midst of all this I am still sober because this constituency is always a tough place and because this is the third time I'm running for a general election I have a fair idea of the amount of work I have to do but I have faith that when we work hard and we are able to unite the party by the grace of God, we will take the seat we are from the about the 2024 general election. The MP, NDC candidate is not working at all. The reason Dr. Okoboy has to come back and rescue the people of Lejoku with um, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Tell us more. What are you bringing differently that you think that this your reaffirmation will give you the nod to lead the people in parliament? I am for projects and development. Simple. I facilitated the construction of the Teshi Landing Beach. As I speak, the landing beach is about 85% complete. We need serious advocacy to address whatever issues are there so that we can have total completion of the project and get it to impact on the community. I am here to finish the work I started in 2017. As I speak, I'm able to lobby to push for the construction of the Lekma Road, but other roads within the community are very bad. And after watching for two, three years, I couldn't wait to be made a candidate. I've already gone to Urban Roads and brought a contractor that is working on Teshi Roads. If you go just outside this park, the roads are very bad. No community will get attention unless you have a leader who is very active, unless you get a leader who knows how to go and sit by technocrats and make a strong case, unless you get a leader who is a friend of the media, who can build a coalition like I did with the Lekma Road. This is why I am here, to make sure that this community is transformed. We are not like Ladare Kotopon or Osu Kole Klote. When you go to those places, you will know that you are in Accra. Sometimes when you pass through some roads in Teshi, you think you are in some parts that are very far away. I am here to make sure that Teshi gets a first lift. Thirdly, I want to work hard to make sure that we are able to give a lot of opportunities to our youth through skills development and also through, um, how do you call it, guidance programs that would have the youth trained in needed skills so that we can empower them. This is why I'm here, to just impact lives and the community. Going forward, how is the 2024 general election going to be like? What are you telling your, your contender in the NDC? I was in Nigeria some time ago to work with their national health insurance. One Nigerian told me, doctor, in Nigeria, every day when you go to the market, prices are changing. Is it the same thing at your place? I went to London. I met someone who said, now we cannot, we cannot afford electricity. Recently, I was in Germany. A German was telling me life is tough. Globally, things are getting difficult. I am a doctor. I've also done some business. It's because this world had to stop because a virus entered every house.
people are now recovering. And so generally things are tough, I know. Because of that situation, the next election is, is going to be a very tough one. We have a big job to explain to people that we were in a difficult place. It was not our doing, but we are very determined to do something about the challenges. Would you say, as a boss of the NHIA, you've done so well to warrant you...